We are in the midst of campaign season, and if you live in Baxter, one election that will be on your ballot this November is for two seats on the Baxter City Council. Our reporter Rachel Johnson has more. On November 6th, voters in the Baxter community will head to the polls and vote on who they would like to see on their city council. Baxter, a city of around 8,000, has a council made up of their mayor, vice mayor, and three council members. There are five local contestants from Baxter running for the two open at-large seats that were left open by two candidates who decided not to run at their term end. The five running for the open seats offer a variety of backgrounds and experiences. I've been teaching for over 30 years and retiring this spring. I spent about six years as a police officer. Right now I work as a self-employed financial advisor. I've worked for um, CTC for 12 years and then within the last year I switched to, I'm an insurance agent now with Fiducia Benefits Group. I am the executive director of the Crisis Line and Referral Service. I got drafted into the armed forces for a little while. And when I retired, I was working in the auto center. They each have a unique set of values and issues that they want to bring to the city council table. I've always been told that the world is run by those who show up, so I figured I'd show up. Supporting police, fire, and EMS is extremely important for this growing city. We can't leave that behind as we grow. Mental health, emotional health, making sure that Baxter is welcoming for multi-level of um, incomes. I think we have to be flexible, willing to work, but yet still have that maintenance because proper maintenance does keep prices down. I think it's really important that businesses have their voices heard. Um, they may not be residents of the city, but they're definitely a big draw. They might have different ideas, but they all have one thing in common, their love for Baxter. Baxter is very fortunate that there are five candidates. If you look at some of the other communities in the area, there aren't other people wanting to step up and run for city council. I love living in Baxter. I would love it if my children lived in Baxter and raised my grandchildren here. I've left a few times, but I've always come back. There must be a reason. I'm really proud of the fact that, that we've grown so much over the last several years and it looks like we're on a good trajectory. I have watched it grow from, I think, goodness, about 3,000 people to now over 8,500. So it's, it's home. Reporting from Baxter, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. And community members will have an opportunity to meet the candidates at an event on October 12th at 7.30 a.m. at Yesterday's Gone in downtown Brainerd. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.